Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Today, we're going to be testing all new colors from Mr. Color, which is rare. Um, Tamiya and Mr. Color, the, the, these paint lines, you know, they, they have their lines set, and very rarely do you see a new color come out uh, once they're done. Uh, we recently got some new metal colors um, in the last year from Mr. Color, and now we've got some of the Gundam colors. Those have started floating in. But these are in the GX line, my favorite line of theirs, GX. Now, this is Mr. Metallic GX 218. This is graphite black. And these are in the Mr. Clear, Mr. Clear color GX. This is 121. I'm not sure what this is. Can you guys help me here? See it? Clear rough, clear rogue. Is that should be red? It looks like red to me. It's a primary, which is red. Um, wow, it's a beautiful red. Uh, anyway, it's a clear red. And this is another one in the Mr. Clear GX line 122. This is peacock green, a beautiful green. So these are two clear colors, and this is a metallic color. This generally goes over black to get its uh, its actual look, so to speak. Uh, we'll try it over different colors, but these can go over different bases, and that's where uh, my prep came in from. I'm going to test it over several bases, including chrome. Check out these guys. I got these today at the dollar store. Look at this. They're like little serving dishes for hors d'oeuvres, I guess, or something. But, I mean, I can paint the sign on one of these beautifully. You guys can get a nice uh, candy look out of that. And I got some chrome spoons. And I sprayed some spoons, different colors, for the prep. This is in the way. Put this near the booth. I'm right behind you. All right. One base we're going to do. Number eight, silver. One of my favorite silvers, believe it or not, during the test. Um, it only solidified it for me. That test is going to take a while. We're still going strong. It's over 120 colors now. Uh, brands, anyway, of silver. Anyway, that's one of the bases I'm going to do. And then the uh, Tamiya lacquer. This is gloss aluminum. Tamiya lacquer. Titanium gold. Let's check this out. I got one of each, you know. We'll test each color. Hold on. Here we go. Tamiya acrylic. Well, this is their lacquer acrylic. This is copper. Check this out. Beautiful. Makes for a very good base. Golds and coppers for candy, believe it or not. Uh, Tamiya. This is gold leaf. Check that out. Over black and over white. And uh, oh, this is over primer. So you get a little bit of a different tone. See that? We'll try and go with the brightest one. And here we have uh, gunmetal. Look at that. So yeah, we're going to spray it over those bases. I have very good luck with using Tamiya paints as a base in their own as a base uh, for putting these colors on top of that. So uh, that will be the test. Now, we're going to use my uh, GSI Creos. Might as well use a Mr. Hobby. Uh, Mr. Color Airbrush, we use my 289, this is the 0.3 millimeter needle. We're going to use leveling thinner to thin it up. I'll show you it uh, once I get it mixed up. And I'll show you each color going on at the booth. And um, you're going to be, you're going to love the results. These are really, really nice paints. And uh, so let me pause this, get these spoons, which are right here, out of the way. And uh, we'll stop mixing these paints. All right, got my cups. Zoomed in the camera a little bit. We're going to start with the uh, ooh, autofocus, Mr. Metallic GX218 Graphite Black. This is the finest looking um, metal flakes I've ever seen. I, I don't know if you guys can even see how fine this is. Let me see. It's really hard to see. And um, it should give off a really nice effect. It's it's that fine of a, of a metal flake, kind of like you would see in the all clad where you don't really see, you know, the flake. It's more like a shimmer, you know. But we're going to go 50-50 at least. Minimum with our thinner. I'm going to show you guys so you can see the consistency we are looking for. All right, here is what you want. There you go. It's the old skim milk look. It, uh, you're going to drag. Let's see, the autofocus. There we go. Drag it up the cup. It's going to run down, but it's going to leave behind the pigment, so to speak. See it? That's kind of what you're looking for. 50-50 is a good start. This is pretty thick paint out of the jar, so uh, 
a minimum 50 50 you can go uh, you know four pots paint six pots thinner and, and start from there you can even go three pots paint seven pots thinner you will not have a problem at all anyway we're going to use this airbrush we'll pour it in now let's go to the booth and let's check out this brand new color graphite black all right guys here we are at the booth we're going to start off with graphite black we are in the cup Ooh, got to turn off this autofocus there we go so let's go ahead um, black you're not going to see it really go on black on the camera I know for sure I'll spray it on black and show it at the bench the results but let's put it on uh, some primer so you guys can see it going on it's a subtle color it's going to be graphite which is a smoky black There you go. You can, oh, nice color. A nice gray. Check that out. That looks awesome. All right. Let me put that aside here. Let's try it over something different. Let's try it over chrome. All right. There it's starting. No, it's starting to come in. Look at that. Check this out. Look at that. Wow, that looks awesome. Great effect. All right. Not sure what else to spray it over. I'm, uh, let's uh, let's try it over the silver that I did of. Uh, the Mr. Color Silver. That looks good. Kind of like the... Not much you can do with a color like this as far as its base. The chrome actually is different, so we'll see that at the end. You're seeing more of the cloud. It's taking longer to go out because I'm spraying further out of the booth. Changing my bracket, and I'm in between uh, in the workshop here. Look at that; that is nice. They all kind of look similar, you know, like graphite, like a pencil graphite, you know. But uh, yeah, we'll go over the results. Let me clean out the brush, and we'll go on with the uh, GX Clear. All right, guys, here we are. We got the red. Pouring it in the cup as we speak. All right, I made a good sized batch because we got a lot of colors to spray it over. We'll put it over Mr. Color 8 Silver first. And here we go. Coming in its own right there. Now we're going to get in closer and come across slower. There we go. Looks really good over the silver. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. All right. Let's see how it sticks to this chrome. Oh, that is nice. Somewhere between red and pink. Look at that. Wow, look at that. All right, we put that aside. We also can try it on that piece I have. Let's see. Look at this. It should do fine on here. It's the same material. a nice wave to it too. I've been looking for something like this for my test to get away from some of the spoons but see how it's got like a nice bend in it so you can kind of see the light refraction through it. 
And uh, yeah, I like it. It lays down night. Look at that. Well, we knew it would go. It would look good over chrome anyway. Let's go ahead and start putting it on some of the different colors. Let me grab another spoon, which is right behind me. Here we go. LP62 Titanium Gold. see where I labeled the numbers under it. The light is strong in this booth. Alright, here we go. We're going to go in closer and slower. And there we go. And, I mean, a completely different tone. Look at that. Alright, let me add it to the lineup here. Let me grab another color. Next up is X12 from Tamiya, right there. Kind of similar, let's see. There we go. Yeah, it's a, it's a little different. That's quite different, actually. I can look, I'm looking at the other one in the corner of my eye, and it's got a different tone to it. Oh, nice. This is a great color. All right. Let me grab a, another base. One second. All right. X10 Gunmetal. Here we go. Look at that. Let's see what we get. Oh, nice, nice color here. Check that out. Whoa. I got my mask on with my microphone in it, so uh, don't worry about the smoke. The uh, the mist, I'm further out from the booth. I normally spray way in here, but uh, it's where the camera ended up today because I'm working on a, a new mount. Uh, let's go ahead and grab another color. All right, this is Tamiya. XF6, this is their copper. Look at that. Look at that. Here we go. Oh, this is nice. Reload the brush a little bit here. Hold on. I'm going to put these at, at the end of the video at the bench. You guys will see the colors, the base colors next to each other. There we go. That is a beauty. All right. Do I have one more color or no? Let me see. I think I do, and then we're going to try it over the chrome from Ravel, too. Yes. LP70. This is gloss aluminum. However, I think it's going to end up looking like the gunmetal. See it? Right after this, I'm going to see if it'll stick to Ravel chrome, that new chrome I've been testing. 
All right, there's our base. Let's go in nice and slow and closer. There we go. No, it's, it's, it's different. I can see from here. I'm looking at the other ones. Wow, it is nice, though. That might be the best one. All right, as an experiment, Ravel Chrome from the spray can that I recently tested and liked. Let's get a better sample of that. This one's good. We just want to see if it's going to work over it. Let's see if it works. I know the paint will work with the ones I did. The Tamiya and their own. You see it's, it's fogging up. So it might not work here, guys. Don't know till it dries and we'll see what happens here. Yeah, it's coming, it's, it's sticking now. Yeah, it's sticking. I think I can lay this down in a heavier coat. Maybe I might go with a larger airbrush for the next color. I think I'll do that. I'm loading this up because I want to see what happens to the Ravel Chrome that's underneath. There we go. It did work on it. It did work. All right, let me clean this out. We'll do the green next. I might switch airbrushes to see how it performs in a different airbrush. And uh, then we'll go over the results. All right, guys. Last but not least is the green. The Peacock Green. One oh, I'm off camera. Mr. Clara 122 GX Peacock Green. This time I changed I changed airbrushes. We're going to try the, my new gallery. Advanced. This is the... GHAD 68 with a 0.5 needle. So here we go. This is number eight silver. This is the regular silver from Mr. Color. Here we go. We stop right there. You got that nice anodized look. Really subtle. Let's go all in. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful green. Look at that. All right. There's the silver. All right. Let's go over a variety of colors. Here we go. LP62. Nice. The uh, air pressure on this is uh, around 16 PSI. The airbrush is uh, really efficient. It uses much less air than uh, most other airbrushes except for my badges which also run on uh, 15 PSI it's comfortable though oh that is nice you don't see the numbers here in person I think it's the lighting so that's how translucent everything is all right here we go X10 what is this gunmetal this is gunmetal Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh, awesome. This is the color for it, I think. Look at that. That is great. Oh, man, that is awesome. Let's try it over chrome. The chrome spoon first. We'll try it over the Ravel at the end. It sticks good. It's lasting pretty good. It's atomizing the paint really well. And there we go. Woo! Look at that. All right. Get this out of here. All right. Here we go. Over the copper. XF6. Let's get our base coat down. It's already changing. You can see it. Let me get in real close. Then we're going to go in slower and get that wet layer. Look at that. That is nice too, man. I really do like this, the green quite a bit. All right, this is... 
gold. Is this gold titanium? Hold on. Yes, gold leaf. All right. And then we'll try it over the uh, that chrome dish I got, and then the Ravel chrome. Completely different colors over these bases. Wow. I'm going to top off the cup here, guys. One second. There we go. Now, where is that? There it is. Looking for that goofy dish thing I got. Let's see. You pick a good side. Eh, this side's good, I guess. Let's do what we did with the red. It lays down so nice. This airbrush is all right. I can't believe it's like 60 bucks or what was it, 60 something bucks for this airbrush? Fantastic. Look at that. Wow. All right, let me put this aside over here. And uh, all right, guys, we're going to try it over chrome, the chrome from. Uh, trying to pick out a good spoon. I got them right here. It's in, from Ravel. Now they, some of them are a little beat up, but that's my fault. Let's go. Let's see how it does. We know the red worked, eventually. Now this one's got some kind of pattern stuck in it. See it? I'm going to have to get another one. I don't like what I'm seeing. It's the spoon. It's not the uh, paint. Let's get a better one. Okay, this one's damaged on one side, but at least I can go this upper half. There we go, much better. All right. All right, guys, don't worry about not seeing it there. We're going to go over all this at the bench. Let me clean out this brush, this really good brush. It's the first time I really uh, extended, used it for an extended amount of time. And um, it works. It works really well. Anyway, let me clean this out. We'll meet you back at the bench. All right, my friends, here we are back at the bench. Let's go over the results. Let's do the red first, only because it's sitting here on the bench. Um, where is the silver? <laughs> I wanted to see it over the silver first. There we go. All right, so this is over your basic silver. Oop, hit the camera. Silver. There we go. And that is... Let me get a piece of cardboard here. Look at that. Cleaner side. There we go. Isn't that nice? That's over the silver. What do we have here? LP62. Let's see what that is right here. Titanium gold. And you can see the difference right there. Drastic, all right? That's over the chrome. Hold on a second. X12, all right. X12 is gold leaf, and uh, it's kind of different. Look, it's different. This is over XF6. This is over copper. It came out a little rougher. The copper. Well, no, it doesn't feel rough. It's just more dull. But that's a flat color. When you see, uh, where is the paint? Here it is. When you see XF in the numbering, F means flat. So that's what you get, but still pretty nice. All right, and this was over LP70, which is, let me see what that is. That's aluminum right here, hold on. That I like, that looks good. And I think it looks good over here. Over the gunmetal. Look at it over the gunmetal. Might be the best color, the gunmetal, right? Right there. I'll show you the gunmetal. X10. Look at that. That is a beauty. That's This is the aluminum. Yep. Gunmetal is my favorite one. All right, here it is over chrome. Let's get these in the shot here. This is over the little chrome spoon. 
This is it over the chrome spoon of Ravel. You know what? It hardened over it. It worked. It worked over the chrome of the Ravel. Look at that. Oh, and here it is. I'm showing you on the base here, but you can see this pretty much what you get in there. So yeah, there you go. That is the red. Let me clear this off and bring out the green. All right, here we are. The peacock green. Where is the silver? Here it is over the silver. Real, real nice. All right, let's just grab them. What do we have here? X12, which is gunmetal, one of my favorites. All right, what do we have here? This must be the copper. Yep, over the copper. You can see it's slightly duller than the other ones because it is a flat. But completely different. Look. X10. This is gunmetal. Look at it. <laughs> it's completely different. I love this gunmetal. The gunmetal is over here. Look at that. These are. The two with the gunmetal. Uh, I mean, that's your base, guys, right there. Just order a bottle of that gunmetal. Look at that. That's my favorite. What do we have here? 62. This is the uh, titanium gold. I mean, this is a completely different color. Look. Over the silver. It's close to the silver, but still different. All right. This is over the chrome. I left it halfway because it was a little funky here. I didn't know what it would do, so... But you know what? Just like the red, it works over the chrome. It dried nice. It's shiny. Here it is over the chrome spoon. Wow, this is showing blue, guys, in the camera. It's got to be the lighting. Wow, let me see if I can change the lighting. Does that do anything? Wow, I, I, it's, it's green here in person. There's the other lighting. Wow, I'm shocked. Here it is here. Sorry, guys, I got my thumbprint in it because it wasn't dry when I went to go pick it up. Oops. But there it is on there. You can just see my rotten thumbprint. You guys can put me in a crime scene now with that thumb. But, yeah, my favorite still, though, is that is that uh, gunmetal. That is the color of choice to me. That's just me. All right, let me clear this out. We'll look at the graphite, and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, obviously not as exciting as a color, but an essential color. And uh, you can see it. it's this graphite color, like lead. It's really, uh, it really is pretty accurate. Do we have the silver here? I'm trying to get it over the proper base. But uh, it looked the same no matter what I sprayed it over. So I, I'm guessing it doesn't matter too much which one I hold up. But yeah, here it is. That's over black. This is over a primer. I can see the primer here. The primer dulled it out a little bit. But, you know what? Let me show it to you against the spoon. Okay, guys. There it is. Real, real good color, too. There it is what I started with. Look at that. So, no matter what I hold up, even the chrome, it just it's all the same. The only difference I got was over the, the primer. And that's the only time I really got a real difference in... in uh, in the, the paint. See it? That's over black and that's over primer. Everything else I tried behind the scenes was all the same. But you can see the difference here. I mean, there it is. This is the spoon I started with and this is after a couple coats. So it really is a really good gray graphite color. I really do like it, actually. Um, it's a real good base coat. Particularly for joints and stuff in some of the Gumpla um, and uh, some car pots. Really, really good color. But yeah, that is the all-new three colors added to the GX line. I'll put a link where I got them below. Um, I think I got them at USA Hobby? USA? USA Gundam, I think I got them at. I think that's where I got them. But I'll put a link below for that. And uh, I want to show you guys something quick because I got a coupon code. Hold on, guys, one second. Hey, guys, I showed this airbrush fairly recently. This is an updated version of the portable airbrush with the... Uh, Dual rechargeable batteries. If I can get the compressor out of here to show you. Now this one comes with the hose, all the attachments, three cups, which really makes this a great for priming.
three cup sizes. The one that it's on it just unscrews, and you have two different sizes of these plastic ones with the lids. Look at that. You can prime forever. Underneath, we have a hose. Look at that. A beautiful hose. You got the, the pipe clean stuff, the pipe cleaners, um, the little needle to clean out the nozzle. A really nice set. Anyway, what I'm showing you this for is because uh, I got a coupon code for 30% off. Um, I'll put it below. It's a 30% off. It puts it in the $60 range. These are up to uh, 80 bucks now, I think. But uh, yeah, but uh, at 60 bucks, good bargain here. I've, I've used this a few times, particularly out in my garage for touch-ups. And it works awesome, and I've gotten a lot of good feedback from you guys that have purchased one. But uh, this, as I said, is a uh, somewhat updated version with the extra cup sizes, which is awesome. And um, it comes in two variants, one battery or two. I recommend two because the whole thing is to keep it going. But it does last quite a long time. But, uh, yeah, I'll put a link below for that. A coupon, 30% off. Can't beat that. That's a really good coupon. It's usually... Usually 10% or 5 so even 15 we usually get excited for it. You rarely see a 30% off, so uh, I'll put that below. I want to show you that before they're gone, actually. Uh, anyway, guys, that is all. I'll put a link below for the it's gallery airbrush that I used in my uh, GSI Creos, which I believe is still under 100 bucks. Great airbrush. Anyway, guys, love these paints. I'll put a link below where I got them, and I'll put links to everything else, including the coupon. Uh, upcoming soon, I have... Uh, uh, chrome test coming. I'm going to decant my chrome. That test is also coming. I have an Oticon test coming and um, a rack system also. I got a couple of new racks. I'm going to be doing the, the room over. I'm going to show you guys what we're doing and uh, that's exciting stuff. I, I, I love organizing the room. Anyway guys, this has been uh, uh, one of my favorite colors. I love spraying this stuff from Mr. Hobby, Mr. Color. Uh, absolutely one of my favorites. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Like the video if you haven't already. Please subscribe if you haven't already also. And um, hit the notification button because I'm going to uh, continue putting up two videos a week. I'll have another one over the weekend for sure. Anyway, guys, have a great rest of your week. You guys are the best. Please join my Patreon. What I'll do is I spray any color you want over on any other color, answer your questions. I'll chat with you directly. If it requires a video, I'll put one up just for you. And uh, we've been busy on the Patreon channel, so you guys are awesome. Thanks, guys. Anyway, guys, God bless you all. Have a wonderful rest of your week. We'll see you over the weekend.